How's it going guys, RXXC here, and I have a very, very exciting video for you today. Uh, at least I'm very excited because I actually have an exclusive reveal for three new cards from the new Age of Aurelis set. Um, Bakugan, I've uh, been kind of talking to him because I know like other card games do this where content creators get stuff to leak to you. Um, and I thought it'd be cool. Um, obviously I'd like to do it, so yeah. Uh, I've been asking about it and they decided that it might be a good idea. So uh, stuff's been leaking online anyway So why not leak it through somebody that they trust a little bit more? So um, Stick around after the intro. We're gonna show you these three new cards. See you guys there Alright guys, we're back. Thanks for sticking around. Alright, so we got a really cool video to get into today I'm so 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 excited you have no idea. I feel really special. So thank you guys for being here. Also, make sure you like the video so that Bakugan knows that like you're seeing this, you're getting it, and everybody's being aware. So leave a bunch of likes down there for me, um, and that lets you know VK and all of them know that this kind of worked. Uh, that way we can do it again in the future because I think this is pretty sweet. So anyway, um, before we start, my just general opinions of what you're about to see is that there are some things in here that could be. Um, relatively staples uh there are some cards that can i in my opinion replace some other cards and then there's these flip cards that i'm about to show you that are definitely not worthless flip cards i'll say that so let's get into it this first card we have here is sinkhole uh it's an aquas card it's a four cost and its action ability is that it negates a hero or action card so um this means you play a Dan down, I hit my four, which is cool because it's on four, it's on turn four, uh, you know, play earlier with other cards or whatever, but just as it is, uh, four energy on your turn four, somebody plays Dan, somebody plays Winton, boom, I negate that play. Um, I'm assuming that that's how it works. I didn't get rulings on these, they just sent me the cards. Uh, I don't think we've had, well, I can't think of any right now, of negating heroes. Uh, no, there are some. Um, but it, it, for me, I, I don't know if that means negate their ability or negate their playing. I would I would assume it's the playing of the heroes. Uh, so that's why I'm going to use it until I get told. Uh, leave it in the comments if you know. Um, but you can stop a hero or an action card, guys. That's really cool. So uh, again, it's Aquas. So now we have three very playable Aquas um, and negate cards. Uh, one of them being Blinding Ink, which is a two cost, and that's negate an action card that's three or less. Um, that's been uh, been going around now recently, kind of in the meta um, of uh, being played over Absorb, which is this other card. It's a four cost and it says negate an action card, um, but uh, you may copy its effect and make your own selections for it. That's where it gets interesting because that is also a four cost. So now we have Sinkhole uh, to determine for your four cost uh, uh, Aquas negate card. Do you want to be able to negate the action card and throw it back at them? Or do you want to be able to negate their action card, but also be safe against heroes? In my opinion, uh, from all the times that I've lost like a Dan, uh, or like double Dan, or triple Dan, you know, uh, it's happened before. Um, it would be really nice to be able to stop that hero card while also being able to stop an action card. Now, I have to say the cost um, is high for a negate. I know that that's why a lot of people are going with Blinding Ink instead of Absorb. Um, I actually know a guy who plays a 2-2 line of Blinding Ink and Absorb uh, because he couldn't get those uh, early turn uh, Blinding Inks out and then later in the game, um, you know, those big B-Power cards and stuff that you don't want to have to fight off, uh, he plays Absorb. Um, so maybe this card can be going in that slot so that way you can take out some of these heroes. Now, if it works the way I'm thinking with the hero, uh, with it negating the hero's playing, then once the hero's already out, it, I don't think it actually helps you that much. Um, but you still get an action stop. That's why I think it's cool, because after the hero's already down, so you didn't have the card in your hand or something like that, well, I can still stop an action card with it, so it's not just energy fodder in your hand. Um, yeah, so that's Sinkhole, guys. Let's check out the next card. All right, guys, and the next card we have is a Darkest Flip card called Touch of Darkness. Here it is. Um, it's a three-cost flip, and uh, it's darkest. Uh, it says destroy all hero cards in play. Already crazy. Then you may draw a card for each hero you destroyed in this way. Um, for 
a lot of people playing this like hero deck thing idea where like they get Dan out, um, uh, like Winton, all these other people like Shargo, uh, the new Strata, all these like small heroes, Lightning, and they throw them all out on the board. If you've played against that deck, you know what I'm talking about. Or if you've built the deck, you know what I'm talking about. This destroys it. <laughs> it's a three cost flip card. So that's not the worst thing in the world. And like, if you're playing Darkest, um, you know, you're not gonna have that many cards in your hand if you're playing the discard your hand way. Um, uh, but, it, it, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy. Uh, it's it's hero removal, uh, unlike we have seen before. Um, the two classics that everybody's using right now uh, would be Garganoid's Gaze, which is a two cost, and it's destroy a hero with four or less. Uh, so that doesn't reach up to like the Leas and the Magnuses or anything of that nature. Um, but then there's also on the Ventus side, one with Nature, which is also a two cost, and it's choose a hero, its controller must energize it. Um, Garganoid's Gaze uh, is one of the better options here because that stops Dan, Winton, um, uh, like Shun Kazami, uh, I'm not Shun, um, uh, Masato, I think. Uh, I'm not thinking about right right now. It's very early in the morning. <laughs> but I got this news and I'm throwing it right at you. Y'all need to see this stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, Touch of Darkness, it's, it's kind of... Uh, to me, it seems to be like some sort of a staple card, or at least a one of or two of in Darkest decks. Um, you know, if you flip it over early, it kind of sucks and if you're not on turn three yet, or if nobody's playing heroes. Um, like, uh, HTN doesn't really play heroes. Uh, I've seen people throw a strata in their HTN decks. If you don't know what HTN is yet, because I see everybody say that in the comments, HTN is Chaos Titan Nilius, okay? Um, it's a busted deck. It's won uh, like four tournaments in the past month and a half, I think. Just, you know, our fan run tournaments, stuff up in Canada, my stuff here, um, somewhere else, I forgot where. Uh, but yeah, uh, HTN is kind of dominating the format right now. Um, that's just, you know, off of a couple tournaments that we've had. Uh, anyway, um, so like, yeah, stuff like that, Torch of Darkness isn't really gonna hit, per se. Um, but like any Pyrus deck that's playing Dan, that has Mac, that has whatever. Now the Mac thing, uh, Mac kind of gets its worth as soon as it's played because it's just another Might of Cindius. Um, but it still gives you that attack power. So, you know, this is nice to get rid of that. And you can draw a card off of it. That's the part I really like out of this card is the draw power. If you're playing, you know, somebody's got two Dans out, a Mac, um, maybe uh, he's playing something else, so he's got like lightning out, I don't know. Um, you get to draw four cards. <laughs> you destroy all those heroes and you draw four cards. It's a really cool card. I don't want to say it's a staple in every deck because no, it does not stop everything. HTN still gets through. Um, I can't think of any other decks that don't play heroes. <laughs> But, um, you know, one of the best decks in the format, you wouldn't even help, help against you. So I can't say that it's a staple just because of that, that fact that HTN's on top right now. That might change. Um, and we still haven't seen a lot of heroes from Age of Auralis anyway. Uh, there's a couple, you can find them online, they've been leaked, but this is an official video. Uh, I'm not going to show those here. So, let's talk about the last and final card. It's a Chaos Flip card, and I think you're going to like it. Alright guys, and the last and final uh, reveal I have for you today, uh, and again, thank you, uh, Spin Master Bakugan, for letting me do this, um, is a Chaos Flip card that is kind of cute, because it's Kubo's Gaze. <laughs> Kubo Gaze, sorry. Uh, it's Kubo shooting ice laser beams from his eyes, or they might not be ice, it just looks like ice laser beams from his eyes into a, a Pyrus Fangzor and making the Pangz, uh, Fangzor imagine a bunch of desserts. It's very cute. It's very cool. Um, it is a Chaos slip card. It is one cost and it says stop Auralis. Okay, so just Auralis. This is the Age of Auralis set, so we are expecting to see, um, you know, more, or expecting to see more powerful Auralis cards. Um, so maybe give you more incentive to play Orlis Bakugan. Right now, you know, the main ones that we're seeing are like Orlis Kokelios, uh, Orlis Halcor, um, stuff like that, which can like be fit into HTN and stuff like that. Um, you know, uh, ATDU, uh, counts as everything though, so, you know, that doesn't really count. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, stop, uh, stop Orlis. If you do, you may play a hero card that costs six or less for free. So. Um, it's Chaos. Chaos tends to deal with 
messing around with heroes a little bit. You know, the staple, or not staple, the uh, <laughs> the uh, big card in Chaos is Leah, and she deals with messing around with heroes and stuff. Um, but for cards that do kind of the similar, the similarly the same thing, is that English? Not really. <laughs> Uh, I came up with Trick Trap, which is a zero cost flip, so uh, I felt that this was a pretty good comparison. Um, being that this is a zero cost and Cubo Gaze is a one cost, Trick Trap is a zero cost that says play a hero that costs three or less for free. So for one more energy, it, you have to you have to stop Orlis in order to get to the playing a six uh, thing, uh, six cost for free. Uh, so stuff that falls under six cost, I mean Dan Winton uh, are your main two. Uh, you know, your Stratas, your uh, Lightnings, your, you know, all the big heroes that are really good. Um, uh, Mac and all that stuff. Are you playing Chaos with Pyrus? Are you playing Chaos with Ventus? I don't know. Are you playing Chaos with Aquas? I don't know. Um, that's up for you to decide. Uh, Chaos is pretty cool though. Um, so like Pegatrix decks, um, you know, could use this. But I don't think Pegatrix plays that many heroes anyway. So, um, not a bad card. Uh, Maximus uh, Maxator Ultra is going to be a 7 cost. Uh, people are trying to get this thing to work, um, but it says when you play this, you may play a hero for free. So, uh, this is the big hero dropping card that we have right now. Um, it's a 7 cost, it's a Bakugan itself with some decent stats. 1310 is, you know, okay. Uh, I, for 7 cost, I'd like to see, like, you know, 2000 B power or something like that to make it actually worth it. Um, but the effect is pretty gnarly because it's just play any hero for free. So you get your Leah, uh, Toshi, which I was just looking at again, because I guess I just haven't looked at Toshi in a while, but he copies the first action you play the turn. That could be pretty potent. Um, I don't know, uh, if anyone's gotten that to work yet, but if you got a deck list, post it down in the comments, because that'd be dope. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so Kubo's Gaze, guys, or Kubo Gaze, um, I think it's cool. It, it's going to be determined whether how good it is, uh, depending on how many Orlis good Bakugan we get. Obviously, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I won't show a picture of it because I don't want to put the leaks in here, but we all know, and it's <laughs> it's very important, Orlis Hydronoid, uh, Maximus Orlis Hydronoid Ultra uh, is going to be a very scary Bakugan to deal with. Um, so this could be a good deterrent for that and you get to uh, play a hero down for it uh, so depending on how good that works and how good people get it to work which it pretty <laughs> it's pretty good you should be able to get that that bakugan to work pretty well um, depending on how people do that will depend on how good this card is and how much it sees play uh, but from a collector standpoint it's beautiful uh, I didn't really talk about the, the art on the other cards, but on this one, Kubo's shooting laser beams into a Fangzor. So, and now the Fangzor only sees candy. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, that is the last card uh, of the video here. Alright guys, and that does it for this exclusive Bakugan Age of Auralis TCG card reveal. I showed you three cards that no one has ever seen before. Uh, this video should be releasing, coinciding with the official announcement of Age of Orlis. We all know it's coming. We, if you've been paying attention, you know it's coming. Uh, Bakugan is officially announcing Age of Orlis today. Um, so go check out their Twitter, their Instagram. Uh, I'm sure uh, VK is going to put something on Reddit or something like that. Uh, it's the official announce day, so it's uh, it's release it's release hype. I don't know if we're going to get a... Uh, I'm, I'm making this before all that's happening, so I don't know if we're getting a release date or anything today. So make sure you check out the Bakugan Twitter, uh, the uh, Instagram and all that stuff to make sure you stay up to date with all that because BK runs that and he, uh, he gets us that information so um, but thank you guys for being here again please like the video so that BK and them know uh, well Bakugan and them know uh, that y'all like this stuff um, and we can do it again sometime because I, I enjoy this stuff just as a viewer I always want leaks I want to be able to see what's coming before it happens um, just because you know theory crafting and getting ready for the new set and stuff, you want you want the hype. I, I like it. Pokemon does it all the time. So uh, I like that Bakugan is starting to do this and they trusted me with it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I love this. I got the message yesterday. And I was like, ah, this is so cool. So um, thank you. Please leave a like, guys. Comment down what you think about these new cards. Uh, check out Matrix Mats. They're in the description. Uh, and I will see you next time, guys. Uh, Age of Warless hype starts now. Hashtag Age of AOA hype. Put that down in the comments. See you guys.
in the next video. Bye.